Let's go ahead with uh, our tutorial series, part 3, uh, the audio uh, TX Pass. And, um, well, um, as we already said uh, last time, um, we need to talk uh, basically about uh, these three blocks. And that is uh, what uh, we're going to do uh, today, I guess, uh, in this uh, third part of uh, the series, um, we want to look at uh, the microphone amplifier and uh, how it works. So we will do some measurements. And uh, secondly, we will talk uh, about this uh, limiter circuit. And uh, you know, this is really um, a lot of stuff uh, to talk about and um, we really have to do some measurements and uh, we want to see how it uh, works together and uh, what happens uh, when um, the, uh, the input signal um, from the microphone um, is uh, really too big and um, has to pass then the limiter so that is really an important uh, issue where we have uh, to look after and then um, the third part is um, our low pass filter and that uh, is uh, definite, definitely um, the, a point for a part uh, four of this series because um, when we have uh, done all the measurements, um, not uh, especially at the uh, microphone amplifier, because that is simply easy, um, but all the, the things uh, which uh, are going to happen um, in uh, this limiter circuit, that uh, will uh, take a while um, to highlight uh, all the things uh, which uh, are happening in here. I mean, it looks simple, um, but uh, there are some things um, we have to think about and, yeah, let's see what it means. Okay, and um, this guy here, so this is uh, more or less uh, an ordinary uh, oper uh, operation amplifier. Um, I mean, okay, it is a low noise type, but anyway, it uh, works like a uh, quite normal uh, op amp. And uh, if we uh, want to look uh, directly here into um, our circuit, um, we find here this uh, IC, and uh, that is um, the op amp with um, two uh, single op amps inside so one uh, for the mic amplifier and uh, the second uh, for the low pass filter and then um, we have uh, down here this guy and uh, this here are uh, our limiter diodes and uh, well it is uh, really uh, nothing special um, these are really normal uh, diodes simple 1N4148 so that is really nothing special but um, well let's see how it works and uh, let's start, as we already said, with our um, MIG amplifier. Okay, what we are feeding in is uh, 16 millivolt RMS and uh, that is uh, approximately what we read, uh, the, the left uh, figure, 15.3 millivolt so that is uh, what we measure at uh, pin 2 um, which uh, is the input um, of 
uh, the uh, MIG amp okay so 15 millivolt okay so now um, when we switch uh, this guy here uh, to channel 2 so that uh, is our uh, trigger menu now at uh, point uh, 1 of uh, the op amp um, pin 1 which uh, is the output there we will get uh, the signal um, when we press our uh, PTT and uh, that is uh, what I'm doing right now we can uh, see that uh, we have output and um, yeah we should really put uh, our our scope to the circuit and uh, now we can uh, clearly see uh, that uh, is the output signal and uh, here is a bl the blue one um, is uh, the voltage level and it is uh, 820 so you uh, clearly see uh, the amplification um, of uh, the MIG amp so we have uh, to make this little uh, calculation so we have 820 millivolts at uh, the output which uh, is in our circuit here pin 1 and that is uh, where we are um, measuring down here right so that is uh, pin 1 and uh, in uh, pin 2 um, we feed our signal um, signal our um, audio uh, signal and uh, that is uh, as uh, we uh, have seen uh, 16 millivolt RMS and uh, we measured 15 because uh, yeah we have a bit uh, loss here at uh, the input uh, circuitry so anyway we can uh, 820 divide by 15 and uh, we will uh, get uh, 54 times 6 um, amplification of the input signal so that is uh, simply how um, this um, op amp uh, works and uh, if you look uh, a little more in uh, devs so this is a really simple um, inverting um, op amp uh, circuit so that is uh, the basic uh, diagram so um, we uh, feed in here um, at uh, the minus minus our signal we have here our negative uh, feedback resistor and um, well uh, plus uh, the plus input uh, is put to ground so that is uh, the basic uh, circuit of uh, this little little um, op amp uh, circuit and uh, that is uh, how it is uh, um, switched uh, in, 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 in here um, so well this uh, 45 is uh, what we really measured and uh, in the theory um, we can calculate uh, the feedback uh, resistor um, by the input uh, resistor and uh, that would be uh, because you see this is here um, the feedback uh, resistor and uh, this guy here is the uh, input uh, resistor so we have uh, 270k and uh, 3.9k and uh, therefore we uh, can do this uh, mass um, as well 270k because both are uh, kilo ohm so we can simply divide by 3.9 and now 
uh, we get uh, a theoretical amplification of uh, 69 so that is uh, very close I mean uh, we have here um, yeah you know there is a little uh, capacity switched uh, to the circuit uh, which uh, will have a little impact and uh, some other little things but um, yeah you know that is uh, close enough so you see our um, our uh, our measurement um, what we have done in the real uh, world uh, is very close uh, to what uh, um, our mass uh, is telling us so well that is uh, you know uh, really all um, we we can uh, say uh, about uh, this circuit and uh, yeah one additional hint so um, when we follow this uh, trace here uh, we, you see um, we are uh, getting to our um, microphone uh, jack so that uh, is this one here um, where we uh, connect our our mic and well you may uh, imagine that uh, this um, microphone amplifier inside the radio is uh, not doing the whole job if you have uh, connected um, an amplification a amp mic to the radio because then you have uh, two of uh, those um, amplifiers in series and uh, they both do their uh, amplification and uh, you can imagine um, well in this case um, we have our um, ah, it is uh, switched off so let us uh, switch it on and uh, yeah this is our uh, output signal as we already uh, said and uh, you see it is uh, 819 millivolt and uh, you can imagine that uh, if um, we have a mic amp uh, connected to the radio this uh, value will increase and um, you know um, then after this amplification and maybe after uh, the microphone amplifier this uh, signal has to pass through our block 2 which is uh, our limiter but uh, first of all let uh, have another check and um, well what uh, we really want to see is what uh, is the distortion level and you know um, without uh, any uh, pre amplification of uh, the microphone uh, signal this uh, amplifier will uh, certainly have um, a very low um, distortion and uh, you know in real world uh, uh, a normal microphone level is uh, not already 16 uh, millivolt it is uh, much uh, lower so um, let uh, us uh, put it to 3 um, millivolt uh, RMS so that is uh, much more um, a real value which uh, you might uh, be able to uh, get out uh, of a, a microphone and um, well with uh, such uh, a level you you already see that uh, it is now only 159 millivolt so it is uh, now very much uh, lower than before but anyhow let's uh, check what uh, will be our distortion level okay so once again we uh, have now uh, 159 millivolt 
and uh, let's see what that means um, on uh, distortions. Okay, and radio is uh, set to uh, transmit uh, again and uh, now I have uh, connected our uh, output right uh, to um, uh, my uh, communication tester and uh, what you see it is uh, 148 millivolt output so uh, that is the same what we already measured uh, here at uh, the scope and uh, now we uh, switch it to uh, distortion and uh, on distortion you see yeah, we have uh, 0.44 percent uh, so that is THD uh, and that means uh, total harmonic distortion so um, you know that is uh, not uh, very bad so that is uh, really a nice uh, value but uh, in real world our 3 uh, millivolt uh, RMS is uh, I would say um, still too high so in real world so the little tiny signal which comes from uh, the microphone capsule uh, might be lower but anyhow let's uh, test with uh, three and um, well 44 0 0.44 percent is not bad at all well and uh, if you have uh, never seen um, how uh, distortion uh, looks like uh, on a spectrum analyzer this is it what you can see here is uh, the fundamental which uh, is uh, this guy here and uh, that is uh, on uh, one kilohertz because uh, each uh, division here on uh, the x-axis is uh, one kilohertz so that here is uh, exactly one um, kilohertz and now you see there are tones you see uh, beside uh, the fundamental and uh, these uh, tones which are uh, available in um, the signal as well are um, you know are uh, disturbing um, the signal itself so it is not a clear uh, sign anymore and uh, that is uh, what it is meant, meant, uh, meant, uh, meant by um, harmonic uh, distortion because you know this is a fundamental and this is a harmonic and another harmonic and another harmonic and another harmonic and uh, that is uh, what uh, it is meant when uh, we talk uh, about um, uh, uh, fundamental uh, total uh, harmonic uh, distortion right and as bigger these um, harmonics are so that means as higher are the uh, amplitudes are as bigger is uh, the uh, THD and uh, you know now uh, this is a very very low uh, total harmonic distortion because uh, we have uh, measured it uh, before here uh, on this uh, instrument and uh, we uh, saw that it is uh, only 0 0.4 uh, something and uh, that is the reason why these amplitudes are that small and uh, con con uh, remember this is uh, a logarithmic uh, scale so that means if uh, the fundamental is uh, here at uh, zero the first the first harmonic is one two three four five six seven so that means 70 70 dBs under the fundamental and that is really really small 
and that is the reason why we measured such uh, a little uh, THD of uh, 0 0.4 right and uh, yeah if this are getting bigger then uh, the, uh, the sign is more distorted and uh, that means if the sign would be our voice our voice would be distorted and uh, at the end it would uh, be get uh, really artificial or um, we would uh, come to a point uh, where you uh, wouldn't be able to simply understand uh, what the person is uh, saying. Okay, so uh, let's uh, come back to uh, our uh, output uh, signal. So that is uh, what we have at uh, pin 1. And uh, you see our output level is uh, right now 1.02 volt. So uh, that is really uh, a strong um, audio uh, signal uh, already. And uh, well, my uh, input uh, signal has been set uh, right now to uh, 20 millivolt uh, RMS. And uh, as you uh, can see, um, the signal itself, so the sign, still looks uh, very nice. Okay, but uh, let's uh, measure uh, the distortion um, level again with uh, our one volt uh, output uh, signal and uh, yeah one uh, second here we are okay still with uh, one point uh, with one volt uh, output level right out of uh, pin one uh, of uh, our mic amplifier we still measure 0.22 percent, right? So, um, what we what we can uh, say is um, we really uh, have a, a nice and uh, clear sign. Uh, so remember what we have seen on uh, the spectrum uh, analyzer um, is. Uh, lower the distortion level is as more or as clearer uh, is our sign and uh, that is uh, what we can see here it uh, looks pretty nice okay so uh, let's uh, put this guy um, to transmit so therefore I will do it uh, with this uh, strap and now okay once again very nice and clear sign and okay 20 millivolt and now let's increase it let's say to 30 and now let's see what uh, is the sign right now and have a look so what is that now you see uh, the, the sign is uh, at uh, the clipping um, edge so you know now uh, the sign is not uh, really uh, clean any longer now it is uh, distorted and uh, well the, the signal is now 1.4 uh, volt and now let's see what uh, this signal means to our um, distortion meter and yes so that it is now we have a distortion level of uh, seven percent and uh, what uh, looks like uh, seven percent on uh, our on our uh, spectrum analyzer let's have a look uh, and you already can see it you already can see it right so now you can clearly see all 
the harmonics and you can see how strong they are and that is the reason why we have this huge huge uh, distortion lever of uh, about 7% so now you uh, may see a little bit uh, clearer um, the interrelation between uh, distortion level in percent and uh, how the sign looks like and uh, what uh, the spectrum itself uh, looks like and you really see all the harmonics all over you know this is here uh, 10 kilohertz and uh, at uh, 10 kilohertz we still have tones from this you know really distorted um, uh, fundamental and uh, that is the interrelation uh, between uh, the spectrum and uh, the measured uh, THD in percent and how it looks like once again let's uh, take it uh, from here and uh, put it in here yeah again have a look you can uh, clearly see a uh, signal is clipping and that is the reason for the real bad distortion level and that means if that would be your voice your voice would be distorted already so it uh, would sound now a little bit uh, artificial and uh, yeah you know that is not really what we want uh, to have okay we are back uh, to um, input level where uh, the uh, output uh, of uh, the MIG amp is uh, crisp and uh, clean so uh, we are back uh, to 20 millivolt and uh, we are still at uh, pin 1 and uh, yeah we have still uh, a nice and clear uh, sign and uh, yeah if we would uh, have a, a pre uh, amplification uh, in our uh, mic um, in our power mic or in our uh, amp mic or whatever you want to uh, call it you would get uh, at uh, this point uh, a nice and clear sign uh, as uh, we have uh, investigated uh, right now Okay, but uh, okay, what uh, we are right now, uh, we are here at uh, pin 1 and now um, we want to look what uh, the signal uh, is uh, behind uh, the clipper and uh, behind the clip clipper means at uh, D14 um, cathode, so cathode of uh, Q14 is uh, um, behind the clipper and uh, what looks uh, our signal behind the clipper okay so therefore um, I take uh, the clip here away from uh, our point uh, 1 but uh, when I go back to point one, to pin one here, yeah, we still have uh, this signal. And uh, down uh, here, this guy, so this is uh, D14, okay? And um, what uh, we said is, uh, what will be the signal at the cathode of um, D14 and uh, so I um, go to pin 14 and uh, because we have some attenuation I need uh, to change uh, now the input level let me check uh, if uh, it is uh, already good yeah. Okay. Can I leave it uh, this way? Yeah, I can leave it this way. So we are now at uh, the cathode of uh, D14 once again. So that is here. And now watch our signal. 
Um, I will uh, increase it uh, a little bit here with um, my input uh, attenuator and have a look. So what a hell is that? So what you can see here is what uh, the clipper is doing. So the clipper is really cutting everything of uh, the sign um, what uh, is not wanted. So the signal gets uh, reduced to uh, a point which uh, is uh, adjusted uh, in advance and uh, of course uh, it depends uh, on uh, the curve of uh, our diode. So, huh, what does it mean? So, whatever you do, whatever you do, so whatever you are gonna put here into your uh, mic amp, right? Whatever you gonna put there and how clean it uh, is, it will be it uh, will be limited in our limiter circuit. And you know that uh, really has uh, two um, yeah it, it, it really has uh, two issues uh, where we uh, have to think about. I mean uh, such a signal so is really uh, a very high um, distortion level. So that is uh, what uh, we learned and uh, that is what we have already seen um, with the sign when uh, our input level was uh, too high. But we know now the input uh, level to uh, our uh, op amp down here is not too high and we know that we have uh, a clear sign at pin 1 which uh, is uh, the output. But still, or not still, already we have behind the limiter, you know, this signal. Because now uh, this uh, signal gets cut to a level that uh, you really can uh, distribute it uh, to uh, the next um, stages. And uh, that uh, is then the signal where you uh, go and uh, produce your um, your uh, deviation at least and uh, you know uh, the um, the objective is uh, that uh, you really um, do not want uh, to overdrive um, your uh, PLL circuit uh, where we have to feed in our um, our level uh, out uh, of uh, this pot. So that is uh, what we have uh, already uh, discussed in uh, our uh, series in in our uh, episode uh, two, um, where we have seen when uh, we increase it uh, too much that uh, then. Uh, we are breaking uh, in um, the neighbor uh, channels and uh, you know that uh, this uh, level can't get much too high, right? Therefore uh, we have the limiter in uh, between and uh, well that is uh, not uh, the only reason. I mean this is really a very important reason uh, that uh, the signal gets uh, limited uh, to a value um, which uh, you know is not far too high uh, to be um, feed uh, to, to our PLL circuit where we uh, create uh, our modulation. Um, but you know now you might uh, understand if you have uh, pre-amplification, if you have a mic uh, amp, a microphone with uh, integrated amplifier, you really can uh, turn it uh, to the maximum. And you really may have here uh, at uh, pin 1 still a clear and nice uh, sign 
but then the clipper will definitely reduce it to um, you know one level and uh, this level you can do whatever you want you can push your uh, power mic as much as you want uh, at the limiter your signal will always to uh, be cut to uh, the uh, level which uh, is uh, the limiter set to and uh, you know what uh, the diodes are able to do but uh, as you know um, this uh, diodes uh, starts uh, uh, to um, to be um, on uh, low ohm at uh, 0 0.7 volt and uh, that uh, is uh, uh, the value um, where you know the limiter starts uh, <laughs> to work so yeah once again whatever you do at uh, your power mic and whatever you have uh, a level at uh, pin 1 this um, this signal will be limited in the limiter okay but um, now we will uh, look uh, what uh, our signal what we have seen um, means uh, distortion wise okay once again uh, this is our limited uh, signal and uh, we know already uh, from uh, what we uh, have seen before that uh, this must uh, really be uh, a big uh, THD level so let's uh, check it so we take uh, simply our signal from here and uh, put it uh, here into the meter <laughs> and what we can see is that we have 32% distortion level and we are, um, yeah, I guess we are already at uh, the point where uh, the voice uh, wouldn't be really uh, be understandable. So, um, you know, 32% distortion level, though that is really huge. Okay, and uh, let's uh, have a look how it uh, looks like uh, here um, at uh, our spectrum uh, analyzer and uh, yeah, I need to change a little bit uh, the settings and once again yeah now it is uh, better and uh, yeah what you can see look look ah come on look that is really 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 big distortion harmonics which uh, we can uh, find when we investigate uh, this signal and uh, yeah so that is a distortion level of uh, <laughs> 32 percent so that is uh, incredible well, um, you know <laughs> so that is uh, really uh, something you don't want and uh, you must uh, really um, yeah think uh, about the fact that uh, we are really at a point uh, where the uh, audio at uh, receive side is um, yeah you know not really good and uh, so therefore it is it, it, it doesn't make uh, any sense to push uh, your uh, mic amp uh, like hell uh, when you know that uh, in the limiter uh, the complete uh, signal will be reduced and uh, will be cut it uh, um, you know that is uh, what's simply happening here and uh, that is uh, normally not uh, what you want so you should uh, I mean yeah this um, limiter can work uh, a little bit so that is good and uh, it is good uh, if uh, you have really uh, really allowed uh, um, something falling down or whatever 
and uh, you have really something which is which is really loud and then the limiter would uh, cut it off and uh, bring it uh, back to normal and therefore uh, it is uh, really uh, valuable and uh, secondly uh, the low pass filter will then filter it uh, a bit that uh, um, the, the limited uh, signal will uh, become again more um, a sign look like so yeah a little bit uh, does doesn't um, be very harmful but uh, if you are really pushing too hard um, with your uh, mic amp then you are always um, uh, with uh, a working limiter and uh, you know um, you should better try that uh, this um, uh, stage is not really engaged a little bit uh, it's uh, fine and uh, you should be really um, at uh, the point uh, where the limiter starts working and my, maybe a little bit uh, above the level but you know it uh, doesn't make uh, any sense uh, if the signal is really too big which uh, comes uh, out uh, the internal mic amp so that is something you really um, should uh, think uh, about okay um, when you feed in 20 milli uh, volt RMS that uh, definitely means uh, that uh, you have you, you have a mic uh, amplifier because uh, a normal uh, capsule would uh, not uh, produce uh, 20 millivolt RMS so that is uh, already really a big uh, level and uh, you know that is uh, what we have seen the signal is uh, limited and uh, normally you really uh, should be at a level uh, where uh, we have uh, a sign behind behind uh, the limiter and therefore uh, I'm going now and uh, will reduce our input uh, level and uh, yeah let's uh, see um, what uh, our signal is uh, changing to so I'm uh, permanently reducing uh, the level and uh, now we are uh, more or less uh, at a point where um, we have nearly uh, a clear um, sign I mean uh, okay we have uh, noise uh, here uh, on uh, the, sig the signal but uh, anyway now it is uh, more a sign and that is uh, what we what we want and <laughs> what we can see is now now uh, we are feeding in 3 millivolt and that is much more um, what we want and maybe we can increase uh, it a little bit so let's uh, say maybe uh, to uh, this uh, level uh, so I mean uh, that uh, would be uh, okay um, yeah it is already a little bit difficult to uh, trigger it but uh, anyway uh, look uh, at uh, the signal right now you can see um, it is uh, still not uh, a clear sign and uh, it is uh, definitely with uh, distortion so we have 5 millivolt and uh, that is definitely more uh, what um, a normal uh, MIG capsule is able to produce so that is already uh, a power MIG um, value and you see uh, it starts uh, clipping um, and uh, let's uh, check on uh, our distortion meter we see this is uh, already 8.1 percent so we know that uh, that is uh, already um, 
a, a big uh, distortion level but um, yeah to uh, go back to uh, our scope this would uh, really be the signal what uh, we want to have uh, out uh, of our limiter because the limiter have now just started to uh, work and uh, um, what uh, we get uh, cut off is uh, not uh, that much and uh, this is really now a nice um, a nice uh, signal um, which uh, uh, is uh, here at uh, the output uh, of uh, our limiter circuit and uh, now we uh, can say that uh, the signal is uh, big enough uh, to uh, push or to, to, to be able to push uh, for uh, a good uh, deviation um, and we know uh, a deviation is very important to uh, have a loud and clear signal at uh, receive side so that uh, is very important but you know uh, it is it is not uh, really uh, heavy distorted and that means your voice is still um, clear and uh, very good uh, understandable and uh, our low pass filter will uh, filter it uh, a bit so that uh, it will be back uh, to um, a good uh, sign signal and yeah as I said the limiter has just uh, started to work and now uh, the limiter is uh, fulfilling its job because if uh, now suddenly you have a very loud uh, uh, noise in, in your background um, whatever happens you know now then the limiter uh, works a bit more and uh, will cut uh, the signal and that is what you want uh, you you really want to cut the signal if suddenly uh, a huge amplitude would uh, jump in you know and uh, therefore now um, your mic amplifier and your um, internal amplifier is uh, adjusted um, to the right point and you can uh, check it out uh, with uh, your uh, partner on, on the radio so uh, you can check it um, um, while you are talking and uh, increasing your uh, audio level at uh, your uh, power uh, microphone and uh, just at uh, the level where your uh, radio partner is telling you hey now uh, your voice uh, uh, get started uh, um, to, to be distorted uh, right at uh, that level you uh, should uh, leave uh, your your uh, potentiometer of your um, mic uh, amplifier and um, maybe a bit uh, below that uh, point and then you are at uh, the level where your um, limiter starts working and uh, can exactly do uh, its job but uh, it is not completely cutting your uh, signal and uh, makes it uh, to a real uh, distorted uh, signal um, what uh, your, uh, your low pass filter can't uh, really fix uh, afterwards. Well, again, uh, a little uh, theory on uh, how it works. I mean, um, uh, one, the, the one or the other might uh, already um, have uh, asked uh, how it uh, can work because uh, a diode would uh, block uh, your uh, signal. So normally it uh, can't... Uh, uh, go through and uh, yeah generally um, uh, spoken that is uh, not wrong when you consider uh, a diode only as a rectifier but uh, a diode is much more and uh, 
when you look uh, to um, this point you see I mean uh, at this point we uh, have our uh, plus um, 5 uh, volt or 9 volt uh, uh, feed line so that is uh, plus uh, I guess 9 volt so we can measure it if you like and you see um, this uh, 9 volt is uh, switched um, so that is plus 9 volt so this is uh, switched to the uh, anodes of uh, both diodes and um, well we have a closed uh, circuit we are this uh, resistor which is uh, connected to ground and this resistor which is uh, connected to ground so therefore um, when uh, the radio is in transmit and we have here our uh, supply voltage this uh, diodes are biased so uh, current is uh, uh, permanently flowing through um, you know the diodes so we have really a bias voltage switched to the diodes and uh, the DC level can't go back uh, to the amplifier because here we uh, have a, a couple uh, C and uh, at the output there is another couple C so no DC which uh, gets uh, uh, feed in here and sets a, a bias point um, you know can't uh, go uh, in uh, yeah either direction not in this and not uh, in, in, in the other so and uh, yeah how uh, does it uh, work with uh, all this um, uh, bias uh, you know the blue the blue um, line here so that is a normal curve of uh, a diode so you need uh, so this is uh, the x-axis is uh, voltage and uh, the y-axis is current and um, you know we uh, know that uh, a silicium uh, diode um, will start uh, working at uh, 0 0.7 volt so if you put uh, 0 0.7 volt uh, to the anode of uh, a diode then um, it uh, starts uh, working and the current can flow through the diode and now normally um, the uh, operating point uh, of a diode which is uh, is uh, used uh, as a rectifier is really down uh, here but uh, in our case there uh, is um, already a bias current um, which is uh, switched uh, to the diode and uh, a permanent current uh, is uh, running or flying through the diode and that means our uh, operation point is set here uh, to the middle to the middle of uh, the uh, linear um, area of uh, our curve and if um, we uh, put the, the bias um, at a level that the operating point is here right in the middle then we uh, can uh, feed in uh, a sign and uh, remember so this is our uh, voltage voltage uh, axis and uh, therefore we have uh, to draw our sign um, as uh, we uh, have uh, done it here so this here will be our positive um, half wave and this is our negative half wave of the sign and um, yeah we are feeding in the sign and uh, well uh, it hits here uh, our um, operating point uh, at uh, uh, the, yeah let me call it uh, zero point and you see um, when uh, the the voltage is increasing while 
uh, we are moving forward on uh, our sine wave, um, the um, the level gets um, gets uh, transmitted right to 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 um, to the output. So um, you know the current can uh, go through, but then when uh, we have uh, the negative half wave, you see that uh, when we reach, when we really reach the point where um, we have uh, our 0 0.7 volt um, point, then um, the uh, diode will close down. And that means right at that point uh, the signal get uh, limited. So that means if uh, this uh, diode is uh, working really in um, this way, okay, plus at the anode and um, yeah, let me say minus uh, at uh, the cathode, then uh, our positive half wave uh, can go through and uh, our negative half wave gets uh, gets uh, uh, limited at the point where we reach our 0 0.7 volt and uh, that is a point as big um, as we may um, uh, feed in our sign so maybe it is you know such a big thing it will always get cut at uh, you know the 0 0.7 voltage point and that is a point where uh, the uh, diode uh, closed down and uh, no current uh, will go through the diode anymore. So that is one direction and uh, when we uh, use this sample uh, example, well I've, I've done it uh, for a better understanding so that is not a practical uh, use. Uh, we have now here uh, again our uh, input um, bias voltage and uh, it uh, can go uh, through the diodes uh, here to ground and uh, this diode will be um, biased by this uh, supply and uh, can go here to ground and without uh, a signal yeah, your bias point uh, is set to this point by this resistors of course so you have really look uh, for the right value and um, well now imagine uh, our signal will um, feed uh, in and that uh, is uh, a nice sign uh, then we have seen that the positive half wave will get uh, through completely so that uh, is what will happening uh, here as well so at this point you uh, can uh, still measure your uh, complete uh, positive half wave but your negative half wave uh, already gets um, um, uh, limited and then uh, you have the second uh, diode which uh, is uh, switched uh, reverse and uh, in uh, reverse direction now your negative uh, halfway will get uh, um, so can go through without uh, uh, any problem um, but uh, your negative uh, half wave is already limited by your first diode so at the output uh, it is uh, it is nearly uh, the same um, uh, look like uh, it is uh, at the uh, input but now your positive halfway gets uh, limited as well so that you have at your output um, your limited uh, sign uh, what uh, we have seen before on uh, our scope and uh, yeah this is once again the more practical um, uh, uh, schematic uh, so we have only one uh, supply and uh, we work in both uh, directions so that is uh, what we have in our real circuitry 
and uh, when we have uh, both uh, diodes uh, together so um, on our yeah let's uh, do it uh, this way on our positive so um, uh, um, half um, we uh, have uh, this behavior and then when it comes uh, to the negative or the reverse uh, diode then uh, you know it uh, works uh, exactly uh, in the um, in the opposite uh, way so the negative half wave so this is this guy can pass through and uh, the positive uh, half wave get uh, limited and uh, that is exactly what uh, is happening here and uh, that is what we have seen and we have seen that uh, we have suddenly uh, a distortion level of uh, 30 um, and more percent yeah and uh, that is how this limited circuit works and uh, therefore you always should uh, um, consider and uh, check uh, with your radio partner that uh, your audio is uh, not uh, distorted so that uh, your uh, audio sound is uh, really uh, clear and crisp and uh, therefore yeah be careful with uh, the mic amplifier level because um, you know you can't make it louder or much louder by pushing like hell with your mic amplifier okay before um, we gonna close uh, our third part um, of this uh, tutorial we will do um, our last uh, couple of um, measurements and um, yeah um, I hope um, it uh, made a bit uh, sense uh, for you how uh, the limiter works and um, well um, that uh, we can prove that uh, it works in real uh, world like uh, we have uh, discussed it um, in the theory part um, we want to uh, check uh, the different um, uh, points in uh, our limiter circuit and um, well what uh, we see here is uh, what we had uh, already so this is a, a limited uh, audio signal uh, behind our limiter so um, we are measuring um, for the moment in time here at uh, this diode and uh, yeah to uh, see it here in uh, our circuit once again so that is uh, D14 and um, well so um, as uh, we uh, discussed it uh, here um, on this uh, little graph and um, uh, where we uh, have seen uh, where and uh, why it uh, get uh, limited we um, want to go through um, this uh, uh, this little circuitry and uh, see what uh, the um, the measurement is at uh, well once again behind the amplifier then behind our first diode and what we already have here um, behind our complete limiter which is here um, at uh, cathode of the D14 Okay, so we are now back uh, in our circuit and uh, we are here at uh, the cathode of uh, the D14 
15 and uh, that is uh, yeah if you if you like so that is uh, equal with uh, point uh, one of uh, our MIG amp and uh, yeah that is what we already know so that is uh, a clear sign because um, our amplifier is uh, able to uh, amplify our input signal of uh, 20 millivolt RMS to um, yeah what have we 973 millivolt so that is uh, what our amplifier is doing and uh, now if we uh, go behind our first uh, diode so yeah have a look uh, this diode uh, which uh, will be uh, operated uh, from this side here to that side means um, this uh, diode is uh, connected in uh, reverse direction so that means our um, negative halfway would uh, go through and uh, our positive halfway wave uh, gets uh, limited so let's uh, check if uh, that is true so uh, I'm here at uh, the uh, input so that means at the cathode of D15 and now I move uh, to the anode of uh, D15 and have a look so that is uh, exactly what uh, we um, have explored um, when we went uh, through the theory um, of um, the limiter circuit so you can clearly see uh, the negative half wave uh, is uh, passing through and uh, the positive is limited uh, to um, the point um, uh, yeah of uh, our yeah our 0 uh, point, uh, 7 voltage um, where our uh, diode will uh, close uh, down and uh, that uh, is as we already discussed the point where um, yeah we uh, get uh, the limiting uh, effect and uh, that is uh, exactly what uh, we are uh, measuring here so you can really see it very nicely and when I now um, go and uh, measure um, our signal um, at the cathode of uh, D14 so uh, that is um, what uh, we uh, already did before but uh, let's uh, do it uh, once again so that uh, is uh, down there as we already know and um, then let's see our signal and here is our signal as uh, we discussed now um, we have uh, exactly um, the both uh, half wave uh, limited and uh, once again this uh, limiter works uh, always uh, at uh, the same point so remember um, when we uh, watching uh, this uh, graph down here so you know um, now that uh, when you know uh, the sign um, goes uh, over you know the point uh, where uh, the diode uh, will close down then we have the limiting uh, effect and uh, once again as big as uh, your sign might be uh, it can it can be really uh, big like hell this signal it will always be limited exactly to the point where uh, the diode um, itself will close down and so that is the reason um, as uh, I said several times before that is the reason that uh, it um, do not make any sense to push with uh, your internal 
mic amplifier and with your external mic amplifier in your microphone so it doesn't make uh, any sense uh, to push like hell because you, has, you have always the same effect uh, you get your signal limited um, uh, to uh, the points we have already discussed and uh, you know that is not really what uh, we uh, want to so we really would like uh, pre prefer um, to to get uh, our uh, signal to a, to a point we really yeah would like to get uh, our signal to a point where um, this uh, limitation um, or this limiter just starts working so that uh, is the best um, working point um, what we can adjust and therefore uh, once again um, when uh, I now reduce uh, our uh, our yeah uh, signal yeah I'm 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 just uh, moving down and uh, you you can uh, see yeah, it takes a while because I'm really uh, reducing it in uh, very small steps but uh, yeah, let me make it a bit uh, um, bigger here on the screen but you already see now uh, it looks like uh, much more than a sign but uh, anyway, anyway it is uh, still not uh, completely uh, clean so there are still uh, harmonics uh, available but uh, that uh, would be the point where the limiter just have started to work and that is uh, the point where you should operate your circuit yeah so okay I think uh, that uh, it is um, that is uh, what uh, we really uh, wanted to do to do today and um, I guess it was uh, really a lot of uh, stuff to think about and um, therefore let's close down um, our part 3 of uh, our uh, tutorial right uh, now um, so I hope uh, that uh, this made uh, sense to you um, the mic circuit and the limiter circuit and uh, in our part uh, 4 let's uh, talk um, about uh, the low pass filter and uh, let us uh, do some measurements and let's uh, see how it uh, works and uh, for today I really think uh, that was really really enough and um, yeah I hope uh, you enjoyed it a little bit and uh, if uh, this all made a little bit uh, sense to you um, then please uh, thumbs up and uh, yeah catch you next time bye